Hi, so in this video we're going to talk a little bit about range and we're going to talk about the B flat major scale so you can understand what the horn sounds like a little bit. Um, I'm going to play the scale and then we'll talk range. teaching about students going to a higher range, there are some things that I like to think about. As a brass player, we want to maintain a very relaxed embouchure and maintain a very relaxed sound. So when students try to go up into the higher register, a lot of times they'll pinch and they'll create more of an airy sound and it just won't come out as strong. So what I like to teach my students is as they're going higher, think of getting louder. And the main focus of that is that as the volume gets louder, generally they tend to put more air into the horn. So not only will they succeed in hitting a higher note, but they'll also be putting the air behind it in order to create hopefully a halfway decent sound. So how I practice high register, how I'll have my students practice high register is just to play in the high register as often as possible, especially for beginning students. Just the more they play up there, the easier it'll get and the better they'll be. Um, they're gonna complain a lot about <laughs> how stamina wise they're tired very quickly, alternate high and low. So we're gonna talk a little bit about low range for a second and then I'll tell you how I practice both of them together. Um, when it comes to low range, it's a lot of air and it's a lot of just letting your face go slack. So for example, um, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna go down on a B flat major scale. a lot of the same principles apply as to the high range. Uh, as you go down, you want to teach your students that getting louder or even the mentality of getting louder really helps out um, because as we get louder, we put more air into the horn and generally the more air that goes into the horn, the easier it is to play. As they practice their high range, they're gonna complain about their stamina on their face. They're gonna complain about being tired really fast and how they can't practice for very long. It's a delicate balance. So what I like to do when I'm practicing range is not just high range or low range, but both of them together. So I will play um, up a scale as high as I can go, like hold out there like for a little while, but then I'll also equally practice my low range and play as low as I can for the same amount of time. Um, so you hit the highs, you hit the lows, you hit the highs, you hit the lows, and it lengthens that range practice out so that you're relaxing your face in between all of those high range notes. Um, it really, really does help. That's a very big thing if your students want to practice on range. All right, well, I hope that helps with that specific thing. All right, we'll see you in the next video.